set of players are, are guys that you anticipate are going to impress. So maybe the masses aren't quite as high on the likes of a Charlie Jones out of Purdue, right? And and you think during the, the week of practices at the 2023 Senior Bowl, he, he's going to turn some heads and, and really help himself, Drew. Yeah, Jim Nagy out there talking about he, he they, talking about where he's on the street. He's gonna run a four four. Right? Listen, I want to see it. This is a guy who who caught eighteen balls in two thousand nineteen. Didn't play in 2020, 2021 caught twenty one balls, and then last year caught one hundred and ten balls for thirteen sixty one and twelve this touchdowns. Year? I mean, this, this year, year, this year, yep. yep. one hundred and ten balls, thirteen sixty one and twelve touchdowns. I just blew up on the scenes. Season, a season for seasons. Right. 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 And he, he was the guy, obviously, at, at Purdue. And he can play inside. He can play outside. He probably looks best inside, but he can play outside. Plays with some savvy, subtle. Okay. But then he has some twitch that he can get you with. Right. Um, and it's the one on one is going to be super exciting, man. Another guy that you're anticipating to impress here, Headley, is your boy, Jay Ward. Mm. Right. Yeah. And, you know, Ward is an interesting study because of all the things that LSU asked him to do. Very versatile player. Obviously, that is going to bode well for him as far as finding a home at the NFL level. But the, the question I have is, is what does he do at a high level? Um, and, and based on you, including him among the players that you anticipate are going to impress during Senior Bowl week, what, what are those attributes that, that you really like and you believe are going to be on full display? I think he's going to show his ability to cover at right, the Senior Bowl. I know uh, in the SEC Championship game, they had him at outside corner, and and this guy was, you know, in phase. Because, you know, he, he plays all over the field. You saw him up high safety. You saw him in the box. You saw him in the slot. Now he's playing outside. So I think at a Senior Bowl, his ability to cover is going to be super interesting. He's an athlete. He has versatility. Uh, where would he end up? We're going to see what, what coaches do with him at the Senior Bowl. But I think he could do everything at a pretty good level. He tackles really well. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, when he's in space that much, like deep down the field and pass coverage in space, I think he can improve there. Next up, we have a receiver. Another receiver here, Drew, for you that you think is going to turn heads during the Senior Bowl week. Puka Nakua, receiver from BYU. You've talked about him before. What, what, what about Nakua is going to stand out for folks attending Mobile. Uh, his ability to, to separate. And I know he was coming off of injury um, this past year, um, you know, and have had my guy out there struggling, bro. My guy, Jaron Hall, bro. I'm like, damn, bro, y'all going, y'all going to separate, bro. And I, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm going to say it was due to injury, bro. I'm going to give my sure. guy Puka some, um, give him a pass and say that was due to injury, man. But this is also a guy who you just want to get the football in his hands, man. They're out there getting cute, running in jet sweeps and different things with him, getting in the football bubble screens to make people miss and, and take the ball to the, to the end zone, man. So um, I'm expecting big things for him at the senior bowl because a lot of people aren't talking about him. I don't know, you know, because he's coming from BYU or what the, what the case is, but I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. All right. Next up, Headley, you have, you're going to the defensive side of the ball with Dylan Horton of TCU. Disruptive. Uh, he blew things up frequently. I, I like when he rushes from the inside, even if he starts outside, you send him on a little loop inside, man, a little stunt. He just blows things up. Uh, he, He's not. Uh, yep. Yeah, he comes yep. off the ball quickly. Uh, against B. John Robinson, against Texas, he was in the backfield. He lived there. He had a Big 12 championship also. So, you know, I think his stock is, is ascending right now. So I think he's playing with a lot of confidence, and I think he's going to show it at the senior bowl. All right, we're going to stay on the defensive side of the ball here, Drew, with your next anticipated player to impress during senior bowl week you're going to go with byron young defensive lineman from alabama yeah th this guy um you know i, I kind of forgot about him when you talk about everybody on bama in terms of that defense and uh it's not sexy it's not sexy no 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 it is sexy i just happened to forget I, I, about I hear what you say i understand you know because yeah yeah. When, when when I finally went back to watch him, I said, "Damn, how did I forget about this man? Like, it's, this, it's the same notes. He he's the same person he was last year. He is this <laughs> year. Uh, when you talk about a guy who, when the ball is snapped, he's the first off the line. Uh, speed to power. Got some quick twitch. Heavy hands. Violent. And he's the type of of tackle defensive lineman you can get cute. Put him out on the edge. But he's also a guy who I think he's gonna he's gonna be that guy that's gonna dominate inside. When you talk about getting sacks and production from the inside." All right. And to wrap up 
the Senior Bowl accepted invitees um, that Drew and Helly anticipate are going to impress, going to make some noise down in Mobile. Helly, you have Roshan Johnson. Back up to B. John Robinson, right? Um, wh- wh- why, why are you so high on Roshan? Man, every time you turn on the game, man, you're looking for Bijan and you see Roshan. You see both of them. You know, they both gas defenses. Uh, and there's something about bigger backs with, with, with speed. You know, this guy goes 6'2", 225. But once he gets on the second level and he opens up, you know, this guy gets there quickly. I think he was tracking there running 22 miles per hour or something this season, man. So he, once he gets that speed going, you know, he's a problem to have. But what I do really think he's going to show off in the senior bowl that maybe people don't know about yet is the pass catching ability mm-hmm. uh, he could run his routes catch passes and like i said once he catches those passes in space yeah watch out man because he could take it to the house you know Bijan. no no he ain't no Bijan. he ain't no, no Bijan. <laughs> a couple of backup running backs uh this season that really stood out to me uh, roshan johnson is certainly one of mine williams as well you know you know we, we talk about henderson and, and all of his talent and you know, being a very highly touted prospect uh, in Ohio State, he's battled injury, sometimes some ineffectiveness, and Mayan Williams played at a really high level. Unfortunately, Williams got hurt again. But if if you if you go through the 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 country with a fine tooth comb, you'll find some really talented backs that that weren't necessarily starting that are probably going to have some some healthy healthy NFL careers. And, and Roshan Johnson is certainly one of those guys that we're anticipating to fit that bill.